Sorry guys, simu yangu meja, so we are on to simu ya wenyewe. Mom, do you like my suit? I do, I do. You love it? I love it. Aww, so I can't. If you're watching this, do better. Those traumatic numbers, reminiscent of the fact that the pressure is getting exactly that. <laughs> hi, besties. Welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, hi. My name is Sandy Joan, and welcome to the Sandy Gang. Sandy Gang. Sandy Gang. <laughs> what do you do, baby? Is it news and make happy? That question, I beseech you to ask God. You know the vibes. So, we finally doing the September vlog. Girl, girl. It's like this year has been kicking my ass. I know it just started, but it's been kicking my ass. So I, as usual, found that after editing, the stuff was not as seamless as I would have liked it to be as a viewer. So here's Sandy from the future, just explaining what's going on. As the title suggests, I graduated top of my class. You know the vibes. You can only see with me if you are a valedictorian. Yeah. I don't want to say it mini. But yeah, let me start from the beginning. So the beginning of this vlog is very tiny. But if you follow me on Instagram, and you should be, if not, follow me right now. Thank you. I am a Nivea girl and was on a very long Nivea campaign, which I am super, super grateful for. And the beginning of my September was just the end of my Nivea campaign. I feel I felt it was very necessary to feature it, even though it's just like a tiny snippet, because it made the most of my content creation journey last year. So Nivea gang, gang gang, oil skin gang, gang gang. And this is also to tell you that if you feel like you have a flaw, like that flaw could be your blessing in disguise because they literally picked me because I have oily skin because the product they were selling was a priming, mattifying effect, oil cleanser and cream. And they wouldn't have picked me if I had dry or normal skin. So you know what? The oily skin got us the bug. You're welcome. So that was the beginning of my September. And then we went on to, we're big deals now, okay? Influencers were a big deal. We are big deals now. I'm not even shocked anymore. We were invited to a tasting by Fairview. I don't know if you guys know Fairview. It's quite old. It's been around for a while. They closed and then they relaunched and they reopened and whatever. And so influencers, some influencers were invited for a tasting for pizza and milkshakes. Seems like an odd combination, but I loved it, okay? Your girl, she loves junk food. So I went to that with some other influencers. A lot of them were food influencers and food bloggers and vloggers. You may know them from my Instagram already. Like I said, follow me on all platforms if you want to be an all-rounded Sandy Gang member. Okay. Okay, that was really fun. And then we had a staycation at Shayona Apartments. It's in Parklands. This was courtesy of my friend Vishal. You guys may know him as Nairobi Disclosure. His food content. Chef's kiss. A, A, 1. Go follow him right now. So we had a staycation in Parklands and on the same day, a lot of us influencers were invited to a Gibson's lunch on. So Gibson's is, I don't know if it's new still, but like it's a new-ish gin in the Kenyan market. They were specifically launching and having a lunch on that was paired with their pink one. I actually wore this shirt and that was super fun. I had so much fun. It was so nice to hang out with the girlies and Vishal. And the food was exquisite. They gave us PR, which not a lot of events do. And in the PR, there was a whole bottle of the gin. On top of that, I think there was some like skincare stuff. If I find the clips, I will show you. If not, enjoy what's there, okay? And then graduation. My biggest flex of last year. You guys, I can't even gangana na shule. I'm still going to go back and gangana, but like, let's discuss the now. Nili gangana na nikamaliza. So the graduation came in. I've written these notes down. The joys of having two phones. One is not mine. So I've written these things down so that I go with how I've edited the video and you guys don't get lost. So I know this is weird and very type A, but 
your girl did not want to get a cap and gown that wasn't fitting. I'm quite tall and also hippie. So I didn't want a gown that's catchweeting, like it's not all the way down to my ankles. That's very ill. And I was in the middle of, I was at the end, tail end of a darling campaign and was going to get on another one that may have meant I would need to be in locks, like kind of full locks like these ones. And so I wanted a cap that fit me because baby, we have to look good at graduation. So my hack was, I agreed to be in the school student brochure, the brochure that where they put like graduates in who are going to graduate that year. It comes out like, we do the shoot like two weeks before graduation. And by virtue of that, I had to get a cap and gown two weeks in advance. You tell me, you see where I'm going with this, right? So because I was in the brochure, I got my cap and gown early. I got to pick ahead of most other people, except the models who were in the brochure with me. And then I got perfect fit. So I would rather, I would say, if you're graduating, get a big cap. And then if your kitra is too small, then you can always pin it. But if you have a small cap, then there's really not much you can do with it. So here's a snippet of how the BTS went for that shoot. And I will attach some pictures from that shoot. But every time I see the cutie, ooh, yours, yours, leg day, nini, 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 like, wow. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, okay. Oh, okay. Ah. Okay. What happened to three? <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Looks like idea. So that's not my graduation shoot, it's the graduation brochure shoot. But anyway, if you're lying to your parents about graduating, I guess we can do this as a hack as well. Don't tell anybody I told you. Okay, okay. So for prep, you're, you know, you know your girl is always on brand. So we had to switch up our nails. We went to Steve, hi, I am the nail bay. And we got graduation nails. You guys know I'm USIU, Amamita. That's my Amamita. And our colors are gold and blue. If you play sports, you should know this. But so I went and got those colors, like school spirit to Nanyalewa. You feel me? Okay. And then we had rehearsal. We had two rehearsals. We had one on a Wednesday. No, I think we had one the week before three rehearsals. One on a Wednesday and another one on the Friday. The Friday one was tricky because we had a graduation dinner on Thursday. And when I tell you, we got lit on that Thursday night because we went out after. Me, I don't even know how we did that Friday. I don't know. I don't know. That question, don't ask me like to tell you uh -huh. that that is not my question that's question ask god i ask god uh, okay hey, because i don't know ask god and then i always knew i wanted to graduate in a suit i know it's like the norm for girlies to be like in super girly dresses and all of that and heels but i was like i'm gonna go down a ramp also i'm very much a sneaker head so i got uh sneakers as a birthday gift the month before and the nike tick on them was pink and i was like you're onto something. So because of that pink Nike tick, I was like, okay, we're going to take this hue of pink, this specific hue of pink. It's like a baby pink, a nice pastel. And we're going to make a suit in that color. So my boy, Boaz, who does suits at City Fisher, they have a women's collection and a men's collection. I was like, you're doing my suit. Okay. Okay. And he did a magnificent job. The waist wasted, the hips hipsed. I looked really good. Like, you can't tell me anything. Nilkwan Kap is really. So I always knew I was going to wear a suit. So we went for fittings for that. On 11.30, we are through so that we can go and enjoy the courts and whatever we have kept at home. <laughs> now, if there are any questions, anything... Mom, do you like my suit? I do, I do. I love it. I love it. Aww. I love it. So I can't. Wow. It's giving expensive. It's giving valedictorian speech. Mm. Mm. Now I can go fix my hair. Mm. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. 
graduation ready. Was not a vlog. We will not have a vlog, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I look cute. <laughs> And then that weekend, I was also walking a runway. The day after graduation, can you believe it? Your girl graduates today and is working tomorrow. Like, I'm the blueprint. So we had um, a makeup, what would I call it? Like a, a, a trial, a makeup trial, because we were doing very eccentric and colorful looks. Uh, the stylist was Brian Babu. He was, at the time, the brand ambassador for Tusker Malt. Tusker Malt, Tusker Light, one of those. The green body, okay? So the inspo was like green dresses and green face. If I can find pictures, I'll attach them for you so you see what we were doing. But we went to do a makeup trial first so the client could approve it. And then I went for rehearsal. A lot happened. So we did the makeup trial. And then the next day I had my grad dinner. Can you imagine I thrifted my dress? It was a thousand more. <laughs> if you're, your girl can save, okay? I don't have to do your dress. I think it's a vacation. It's a very pretty dress. So we had graduation dinner. It was a trademark. We had food, we had dancing, there was no drinks because USAU is a drug and alcohol free zone even when we're outside of campus. But we did go out after and that was epic vibes. Nobody who I went out with believed that I was a, the valedictorian until I was called to the front the next day and they were like, and they were like, ow, jump scare. I said, ow, ow jump, jump scare. scare. <laughs> Hello, we are home. That grad dinner was everything. Everything. It ended a little too early for me because I'm like 10 p.m. It's over. I know that's what the program said, but baby, 10 p.m. Like, what? Anyway, the after party was lady. None of that on the vlog because, you know, a girl deserves some privacy in her life. But it was a really good party. I know that this vlog is all over the place. I know. You don't have to. I know. You do. You don't have to tell me. But you know what? You're in the Sandy Gang because, you know, the vibes are always vibing. Uh, I do the least in regards to vlogging. I'm always like, I should speak more on this vlog. And then I just end up shooting a whole lot of B-roll, so many montages. And in the end, when I'm editing, I'm like, nobody will understand what's happening. So maybe I should speak. Maybe, just maybe. So here I am speaking. Enjoy. <laughs> I'll see you at rehearsal tomorrow, which will actually be in a few hours. Like, I th it's actually today. It's 3 a.m., so... I will see you today. I just need to catch some Z's and to get Kidogo sleep. And then I'll see you at rehearsal. Two days to graduation. Actually, it's one day. Bye. Good night. Anyways, when it comes to grad, the reason for this vlog. So, I slept for an hour. I'm not kidding you guys. Like, packing and writing my speech and perfecting it, type A, perfectionist, last minute things. I, I think I went to bed at two and i was up at three because my makeup appointment was i think at 4 30 or 5 something like that because my nasha was doing my makeup my both my sister's makeup and my mom's makeup and then my friend kat who i graduated with was also doing her makeup there and her friend who also graduated was doing her makeup there and we had to be on campus by seven so you saw my son mambo ni mingi masa machache but my beat my beat was beating we even put glitter in my eyes bad bitch who is also a boogie you're welcome. Excuse me, it's a graduate. Nasha uh. on the beat. Nasha on the beat. Wow, wow, wow. Quite a mimi. Gosh. Then I had breakfast on campus with my partner. And he took some cute, cute videos of me. Valedictorian <laughs> 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 You did yourself. And then we did the ceremony. I will show you the ceremony, guys. Me leave from Bele Maraniki. People are like, how is this club who's always shaking her nyash? And the club being called to the front so many times because I went to do the valedictory address. And then I went to 
get my degree and then i went back because i was the top in psychology and they were giving us awards for that so your girl your girl your girl girls put in a cropped version but i will attach a link i can't sorry guys so we are on to like i was saying 
my sister is actually dying downstairs. I don't know what's going on. Like I was saying, I'm very super type A. I wanted to do everything on the same day because I thought, when else will I get my family together like this? So the way I had planned it was, after the speech, I will attach. I will attach my speech. Cropped version, I can't. And then, you guys can go watch the full one over there, but this is what I will say. I'm extremely honored to stand before you and give this address on behalf of my graduating class. I remember receiving this email and thinking to myself, am I now an adult? It seems like such an adult thing to do, right? Give a valedictory speech. So here goes my attempt at being an adult. What a great feat it is to be graduating today and finally getting to step on the grass for free. <laughs> we made it here with plenty of odds stacked together. <laughs> It goes without saying that week 7 and week 14 will not be missed. <laughs> we can finally go back to reading calendars by months and not by weeks reflective of what is due. My personal experience with university has been, to put it mildly, challenging. I've had a few starts and stops, but the fact that I'm here, standing here today is proof positive that with determination and the right support system, both of which I had, anything is possible. I would like to offer my deepest and most sincere thanks to my mother. Hi, mom. Anastasia Chang, without whom, quite literally, I wouldn't be here today. It is bittersweet leaving somewhere we have called home for so long. So many aspects of school and campus life will be missed, but I can find a few that none of us are going to miss. Assignment due at 11.59 p.m. <laughs> Pop quiz. Group work with non-responsive group members. Saturday classes. Safe a sign that comes back with a 47% plagiarism report. <laughs> Zoom University, mute your mic, turn on your video. I can't do that, prof, I'm still in a bonnet. As much as it is more common for us to look outside for heroes on graduation day, I see so many before me today. I see leaders, I see helpers, I see trailblazers in caps and gowns. We have shown not just the world, but also ourselves, that we are survivors. We have not only survived this pandemic that has fundamentally changed how we interact with the world, but we've grown from it. We've used it as an opportunity to strengthen our friendships and relationships, and hopefully, we've also convinced anyone looking to hire us in the future that we can work from home. <laughs> Finally, in the famous words of the ever-fabulous Lupita Nyong'o, I personally know that I'm capable of anything I put my mind to. Whether someone agrees with that or not is of no concern of mine. So believe in yourself, we've made it this far and nothing can stop us now. It would be a crime for me to be a Spanish minor who does not address you in Spanish. So to prove to my professors Maria del Rocio and Pablo Rubio that they did not waste their time, para buena clase la 2022, lo hicimos. Translation, thank you all for your time and congratulations to the class of 2022. We did it! You're welcome. So, Right after graduation, picked my awards, nini nini, said congratulations my friends, especially my school and uh, humanities, school of humanities, psychology majors, because we were closest. And then immediately after we went for ice cream to celebrate, because ice cream we must, I don't even know why you're shocked. Cold Stone, make me a brand ambassador. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, 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 tired of ice cream. Anyway, I'm going to propose a DM. And then immediately after we went for the shoot, so I went for the shoot with my family, my extended family, my partner, we had this shoot at VJ Studios. You're shocked. Don't be shocked. Couldn't really find about the shoot. And he did an exquisite job. So me, I will always take back money where I feel like I am celebrated. So the shoot was stupendous. Like the pictures came out better than I could have imagined because it was a lot of coordinating. My six-year-old niece was there. Now six, she was five then. And my mom was there, who's 61. So coordinating that, it was a lot. I'm a model. I'm used to doing it. But for other people, it's like, you're a lot. It's funny how my sisters are yelling when I specifically told them that I am filming. If you're watching this, do better. So anyway, we did the shoot and then 
we crossed over to the other side of the street and we had dinner at Ibis Tiles, of course. We did it at Utamu. They did a specialized menu for us where I got to have... I'm just going to tell my sister to lower her voice because I can't think. So I finally told my disrespectful sister to STFU <laughs> and she listened this time for real. So yeah, we had dinner at Utamu. They did a specialized menu. They can do this for you. They discount it if there's like more than 25 of you, there's 25 of us. So I think it's like, it was 2,500 per person. Ours was discounted, I think, to 2,300 or it's discounted just after that. Anyway, they did a great job and it's all you can eat and it's three course and like you can just stay eating but it, and it's inclusive of one non-alcoholic drink so if you're thinking of having like a little party for whatever reason you're celebrating something and you want something nice with good food and then you tell them, don't say i didn't tell you then i had a staycation over there because baby i was tired like you can't make your car so we slept over but then the very next day i was walking this runway for polo so i was extremely exhausted fresh off graduation in a speech i had barely slept and i went out because we must celebrate the valedictorian so i was extremely exhausted but we had to work you know what work is a must so we worked the next day Even the color is just so. Excuse me. <laughs> There's something I did not get to share with you guys, and I really wanted to talk about. Um, the very next week. I had, didn't even have my degree in my hands yet. I think it took me over a month to get my actual degree. I just had the degree pocket. But because my speech went so viral, it went viral everywhere, even LinkedIn, which I am barely on. Um, there's an organization, a corporate organization that reached out to me to make for them like a syllabus for a wellness seminar. So we did a mental health workshop that very week. Like I used my degree before I had it, guys. <laughs> Social media did the thing. So I really, really enjoyed that. And I think I'm going to be getting into more of that type of work as opposed to just doing talk therapy i want it to be a wholesome experience so when i begin my practice we are definitely going to be doing stuff like that so we did that i really enjoyed that i did not i did not put it up anywhere except for my instagram so if you don't follow me sorry you should have been following me but i i strive to be a better vlogger who includes everything it's just creating a syllabus crunch time in under 24 hours and doing a one week workshop it was like a three four day workshop it's a lot baby it's a lot but anyway, I really loved that and I loved that like I was, I found an intersection for content creation and my degree, like it works. Don't ever let anyone tell you you're a monolith. You are multifaceted and you can use all your skills. Use your whole skill set. Use all of it. Make your money everywhere you can and be the very best version of yourself. Okay? You and I'm here. Okay. So there's this thing I started last year it's funny to say i started it because i never finished it i only did it that one time it was so wholesome and i felt so fulfilled but i only ever did it once i asked for solo date ideas and a lot of you pitched to the library so i went and also they have all you can drink tea of course i mean count me in matter twice so i did it last year i had a really good time it was one of my first tiktoks and it did really well so i think you guys really like solo date content let me know if you guys would like a solo date vlog where i take you with me the whole time because you see when i do tiktoks and reels and kind of short it's just like highlights and the menu and how much stuff costs budget and anything. but if you'd like me to take you from preparing getting ready getting dressed and actually going let me know in the comment section and i might just do that for you so since september i haven't done one it's march it's the beginning of march and i think i want to do one so please suggest restaurants that would be good for solo dates where i won't feel like in copa i'm gonna see my friends and then finally finally to wrap up the month we celebrated a really special friend of mine his name is Vishal. we had a surprise um lunch for him Inti do this thing where they have like uh what do they call it they call it a business lunch and i think it was like 2000 bob three course meal plus a glass of wine cheapest we had the time of our lives and he loves food library restaurants so he had the very best time if you like restaurant content, I will not always put up restaurant content. It will maybe just be a snippet over here. If you like it and you want details, how much stuff costs, where this place is, what they serve, what's good, what's not, and an actual review, please follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Over there, I always make 
like a whole reel or a whole TikTok or a very long story about it so that you can get that content and then you add it up with what I have here and you have a wholesome experience, okay? He vlogged me day full, but you know what? I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it. Big thumbs up, maybe two. Please subscribe, please, please, please. It really supports my channel. I know I've been growing lately on here even when I don't post long form content because you guys are really enjoying my shorts and you really mess with them. So I will continue to post for you shorts maybe thrice a week. I'll try for that. But please, please, please engage with my long form content as well. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know every time my video goes up. Always leave a comment. It really, really encourages me so that I am like, okay, you guys actually care what I have to say and I keep making content for you and send it to someone you think might enjoy it because when the good things are for sharing, one won't enjoy Why? Anyway, I'm so it's time for me to go. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, Sandy Gang.